how early do you get to it? What do you expect from him? Jamel Herring's got to show that he can deal with the speed of Shakur and that he can start to get his own jab established and slowly start to push Shakur Stevenson back. I don't like what I'm seeing right now from Jamel Herring. He's sitting back right now trying to box with Stevenson when he should be trying to move forward and get into the chest. Right now, Stevenson is fainting and getting the reaction that he wants from Herring. That is to his advantage with the superior hand speed, overall skill, foot speed. He's the better boxer. Right now, Jamel Herring is confident. He does have a good game plan. And Shakur Stevenson has to make Jamel Herring believe he can't win. And he does that by hitting Jamel early and often and not allowing Jamel Herring to get anything back. There's a body shot, right hand from Shakur, and then goes with the southpaw jab. I see something very appealing from Shakur Stevenson. You see the grease on his body? Yes. <laughs> He's expecting body shots coming from Jamel Herring. Of course, at the discretion of the referee, pre-fight, Mark Nelson put him over as to whether or not it's acceptable. It, it shouldn't be. You can see it. Shimmer and shine off of the bright lights here at State Farm Arena. And Dan comes in from Shakur. Laser focus, trying to sweep the right hand across the belt line as well. This is how Shakur Stevens is going to slowly take over this fight. It's by power boxing. It's not moving around. He can avoid punches, but he has to make Jamel Herring pay when he misses punches. And again, he has to make Jamel believe that he can't win this fight. And Jamel has to start to pick up the pace because even though this is only the first round, Jamel can, I mean, excuse me, Shakur can do this all night long. All night. Jamel has to start to implement the game plan that he's been talking about all week, which is being the bully. If it stays like this, it's on Shakur's terms, Timmy. All night long, Shakur Stevenson is systematically already breaking down and found his rhythm and found his mark quickly in this first round. And you know that Shakur is getting to Jamel right now because he's got Jamel hesitant to throw. Jamel came out going punch for punch. Now he's got Jamel thinking, trying to figure out what to do next. That's the right hand. That left hand I'm talking about. Jamel doesn't see things coming from that side. And he's walking that way at the moment. Getting hit with straight left hands from Shakur Stevenson. Who's the bigger man? Who's the bigger man? 
Is it Jamel Herring or is it Corey Stevenson? Because he's walking down Jamel Herring already, and it's the second round. That's the mistake we make sometimes. We think the taller guy is the stronger guy. The taller guy is the bigger guy. It's not necessarily true. Jacor looks a lot stronger than Jamel Herring to me right now. And a lot thicker. Left hand landing. Good accuracy for Shakur, and then he places it to the body. Had a three-punch combination, a couple left hands up top, and then places it to the body. It's a very strong start for the undefeated fighter. That jab right there for Jamel Heron with a half jab, trying to get back to defense all at the same time. It's not a good look, fellas. It's not. <laughs> Just watch that left hand that come over the top right now from Shakur. Left hand comes in again. <laughs> and again. He said it would be his breakout performance. He took criticism for his last performance. People said he could have gotten rid of the guy. He could have pressed the gas pedal a little bit. See that laser focus early on tonight. Chance, every fighter fights for respect. I understand the belts. Yes, they're, you know, they're respectable in the sport. They're nice to have. But we as fighters, we want to be respected by the people in the industry and the fans. That's what Shakur Stevenson is fighting for right now. And Shakur still got to be smart because Jamel is dangerous with that left hand and he's dangerous with a right hook. And Shakur Stevenson is doing the right thing by marching forward behind the right jab. One, two, backs it up with a southpaw right hook as well. And then from range... Back to the jab. Good work. Pinpoint accuracy from Shakur Stevenson with that left hand. Time. Was he just looking at Bud Crawford at the end of that second round? As if to say, are you watching what I'm doing? Professional boxer. No other, no 
chance to win standing on the outside of those shots. Got to let his shots go. Fires off the left hand behind it. Nobody said it would be easy, Jamal. But you got to go forward if you want to get it done. And the game plan for Team Herring is also to try to take Shakur Stevenson into the deep round because they feel like he's got conditioning issues. He's never been in a tough fight. So that's... Oh, Shakur. Nail. It's a nail fungus <gasps> infection. What? It's contagious. He can even spread it to other people. Yeah,